wants God to be our theological bellhop and our Christological vending machine. We want to walk up to the vending machine and put our prayer quarters in it and make a selection. And when it says not available, we protest. And therefore, we have a problem when we come to a text like this in verse 23. And Jesus answered her not a word. In the Bible, the greater emphasis is not on the mouth. It's on the ear. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. The obedient son prayed himself right onto the cross of Calvary. If Jesus had stopped and removed this cup from me, Pontius Pilate might have gotten a full night's sleep. If Jesus had stopped and removed this cup from me, two crosses would have been set up on Golgotha. If Jesus had stopped praying before he had submitted himself to the will of the Father, Joseph's tomb would have remained empty. But Christ has submitted himself as the obedient son to the will of the Father so that you and I might be called children of God. Oh, my friends, yes, we believe in the death of Jesus Christ on a cross, and we do well to do so, but we must also believe in a robust resurrection because it's there in the resurrection that on the third day as Jesus looks sin, hell, death, and the grave in the face and essentially says, baby, you couldn't touch me if we were in a phone booth. I'm going to step out this grave and go get my bride. And when he opens our eyes to see the beauty of the reality that I can cease from trying to win God's favor based on my own character, when the promise of Abraham is realized in me, when I can rest on grace, when in the midst of turmoil I can borrow the joy of tomorrow today, when even in the waiting my faith grows, this is sola fide.